My name is Alejandro Salome and I represent Mexico. The first thing I started to look into was the, the project location. I knew that the, the wind and the sun were going to be crucial in the design of the process. I also knew that the multi-comfort design premises were very important, of course, and well, I also did some research on vegetation that could resist the harsh weather of Dubai. When it comes to the design process, I knew I needed a concept. And so I started to look into the Casbah and the Sar, which are urban developments that are well known in this area. And they both talk about these overlaying houses that create shadows one from another. They also create a sense of community and services for that community. So I knew I needed to include that in the project. In the evolution of the volume, we can see that it is tucked in to create a relation with the environment. There are openings that are created to receive the cold air and maintain it inside the project while the hot wind is dissipated. Also, there are avenues that are created to relate to the library, to the park, the waterfront, and the culture village. The volume is elevated in the south and west facades as high as possible to protect from the sun. And then the concept of the Tsar and the Kasbah comes in when some apartments are pushed over to create shadows in the facade. Also, those apartments that are pushed over create niches on the other side that create shadows inside the hallway as well. Then green terraces are placed and the solar panels in the, in the roofs are placed too. In the lattice, well, the lattice or the mashravilla, as you call it, is modeled in a 60 by 60 centimeters in when the square module is cut in half by a diagonal and rotated several times, it creates a great idea and a great emotion when lights and shadows are created inside the hallways. In the architectural, in the architectural square meter study, we can see that we have 15% retail and auditorium spaces and 85% resi residential. In the floor plans, we can also see that not one floor plan is the same. This was not made randomly. Every single apartment that is pushed over was selected through a solar study that proved that it made the exact shadows that the apartments and the facade needed to actually cover it completely through with the sun's movement. In the apartment plans, we have the four apartment types. And there are two things I want to emphasize about this, this sphere. That the first thing is that the the apartments, they all have a terrace that is 2.1 meters wide. That is actually to protect the apartments from the sun. And the same thing happens in the hallway. There is a 2.1 meter hallway that protects the apartments from the sun's harsh weather. So actually the apartments are enclosed between two great terraces that protect it from the sun. And, these, and the second thing is that the niches that are created the apartment moves, moves as a complete block with the hallway. What happens then, a niche is created, and that is, number one, the first, the only place where the wind can go into the building. The niche is a green terrace, and the vegetation with its humidity will cool the wind as it enters the hallway. We can see a section right here, and when it comes to San Goban, we have over 12 solutions that they offer us. Eight of them are in every single apartment. Three, at least, three of those eight solutions are totally class A fireproof, and the others are thermal and acoustic proof. These are some, others, some other solutions, like the shear field, where, the, where we can see that the isover acoustic and the ignivir intumescent are fireproof and acoustic isolations that work very well. According to the MCH designer, we're in the highest efficiency class, and the calculations take us to the, to the best possible. When it comes to the isothermic image of the roof, the slab, and the walls and doors, we can see that they work perfectly with the project. And in the master plan, we can see the, the center of the project is formed as an oasis. That is why the name of the project is that. It is formed because we can see the opening in the northwestern side that receives the cold air, and we have in the, in the oasis in the central part elevated fountains and vegetation that will protect the that will protect the pavement from overheating. Besides, the fountains will cool the air that is inside the project and the microclimate that is created inside of it. We can see that the solar panels are connected 
are in the, in the roof and that the library is connected through an avenue we, al along with the, with the waterfront and the culture village. We can see that the lattice is also only in the south and west facades, which are the hardest that receive the sunlight so that they can be protected from the sun and the apartments are located, well, are facing north and east. We also have a maritime museum that represents the those, which is right there in the bottom. And I think it is very important to acknowledge that we are here and this is the place where those are made, so it is a reminder that we are not losing that aspect. We also have a, a slope that has an art gallery and it leads to a praying room that is oriented to the mechanism.